so what I do is I go and I say, okay, well, you know, let's clean up the system. So let's eliminate all the stressors as we can. So gluten is one, I get rid of all the grains. And so this is something where you might want to take some notes. And I, and I, I challenge all of you to, to do this for 30 days. Now, the reason we want to get off all grains is, is that when your body has a leaky gut, and let's say you've already developed some antibodies against gluten, there are certain foods that, because of the leaky gut, there's a cross-reaction. And the body will start reacting to foods that don't even have gluten in them because the antibodies to those foods look very similar to the gluten antibodies. And before you know, you're now not just reacting just to bread and gluten, but also to rice and potatoes and coffee and all those kind of things. All right. So any food that we eat in a high frequency today, corn and soy and so on and so forth, milk, right? all those things, any food that we eat, somebody looks depressed over there. <laughs> so any food that we, that we eat today in today's society in a high frequency, your body can start to react to because of that leaky gut. That doesn't mean that you necessarily have a genetic expression that you can never eat those foods again, but you have to heal that gut before you can start eating those foods again. So. To, to make my point for the elimination diet, it's safer to actually take people off of all grains because if you're reacting to gluten and now you have a cross-reaction to rice and you're just doing brown rice all the time, you're still creating that irritation and inflammation and you're not going to get out of that, that spiral, right? So to stop the spiral, you need to heal the gut and you need to get off of all foods that could cause an irritation. So all grains. I usually start with 30 days because 30 days will give you enough time to kind of calm things down, calm the sensitivities down, calm the reactions down, clean up the system enough so that your body can, can kind of like take a breath and kind of say, okay, so let's get back to a baseline. And so now with that baseline, we can maybe start to reintroduce some foods. But see, now your system is clean enough that when you eat a food that you might be reacting to, you'll know it. See, a lot of us right now are having so many underlying food sensitivities, we don't even know what we're reacting to anymore, okay? Because we just have whatever, whatever we're just so bogged down. And you literally have to clean up the system and then start to reintroduce, and you'll actually have a reaction. You'll know if you're reacting to something.